What's up guys, Coding Jesus here. Guys, in a previous video that I filmed, I talked about how to become a cracked dev. If you haven't watched it or are unfamiliar with what cracked means, cracked essentially is a gaming industry term that means amazing at something, extremely proficient at it. And in that video, what I have effectively said is the number one signal that somebody is a crack dev is that they're running Vim and Tmux. Vim is a code editor and Tmux is a terminal manager. So effectively, if you walk into the interview and I see Vim and Tmux on your resume, I'm essentially hiring you on the spot because I know you're cracked. Now, a lot of people came back to me and said, well, what resources can I pursue in order to learn Vim and Tmux? Now, unfortunately, I'm not cracked enough to be using Tmux just yet, but I do use a Vim extension in Visual Studio. So I'm not fully cracked on Vim, but I'm partially cracked. I'm kind of playing in that domain, hoping to move over to the Vim and Tmux build. But regardless, as part of my own Vim journey, I needed to tap into a couple of different resources to learn Vim. And I wanted to share those two resources with you today. The first resource, guys, that I went through is O'Reilly's Learning V and Vim Editors. All right, this book is amazing. It goes tip by tip with different, you know, bullet points, chapters, there's a lot of diagrams, so you can't get bored. It's really going to hold your hand effectively throughout your journey learning Vim and learning things like motions, things like commands, things like searches and greps, etc. And it's going to make your experience learning Vim extremely, uh, extremely enjoyable. In fact, Vim to me is kind of like a video game. You're kind of like gaming while you're coding because there are so many cool commands and motions you can do to effectively not even need a mouse. So if I walk onto this, uh, you know, walk onto a new job and I see a guy that doesn't have a mouse on his desk, I know he's cracked because he's using Vim. Okay, the next resource that I recommend is this good book called Practical Vim. So Learning Vim Editors, this book, is going to go through kind of like the history, the background, how to install, how to use, how to manipulate, how to integrate, etc. This is more kind of like, once you've done all that and you've learned the basics, how do you take your basics to the next level? I really like this book because in this book, you have tips, right? So each chapter is essentially a tip, and each tip is two to three pages, and if there are tips that you're not interested in, for example, like super complex regex expressions, you can effectively skip that tip and not miss out on anything else. In other words, each tip is isolated, and no tip is effectively a prerequisite for another tip. That's something that I think um, is quite useful in this book. Now, what you guys can do is you guys can effectively stop at this book and start integrating Vim into your own development environment. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's take a look at a practical example as to how to use Vim in an environment that isn't Vim specific, but in my case is essentially just a Vim extension on an existing IDE. I have so this project open right here called orderbook.cpp. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of includes and there's also a bunch of using statements. So let's just say for whatever reason you wanted to delete all these using statements. The non-crack dev would just do something like this, right? Maybe move his mouse around to like touch this and all that stuff. And that takes time, it's slow and it's boring. What would the cracked out Vim user do? Effectively, they'd go into visual block mode, they'd drop down four lines, they would highlight the word and just tap delete. Now let's say they made a mistake, well, they can just undo that in a simple click, whereas the non-crack dev would do control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z a hundred times. Let's just say you wanted to add Vim, for example. I know a really good use case of this would be in C Sharp where you want to add the access modifier to a property, public, internal, private, etc. So what you might do is once again, go into that visual block mode, go down by four, shift I, type using, escape. And you already have all those usings just generated for you in that sort of columnar approach. Now guys, I do recommend you start out with a Vim extension for an actual IDE. That's a really good middle ground to go from no Vim to cracked out Vim only. And I think it's a good playing field to play in for the foreseeable future. If you really want to run the hardcore cracked out Vim Tmux, this is going to be a really great learning step or stepping stone rather to get there. So focus on the books that I recommended, focus on the extensions for IDEs that are Vim based. And then if you want to go a step further and you want some online resources as well to help you make the full transition, I do recommend a YouTuber called The Primagen. He has great content on Vim and he is a great resource 
Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you'd like to watch it early, patrons watch all these videos early. You can go to my Patreon, link in the description box below. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can do so at Calendly. And if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram for whatever reason, I don't post anything quant-related there, but you can do so at Jesus. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Cheers.